就跟随。你说话，我就顺。
Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility. 昔日圣子耶稣基督及自甘卑威尔将士住在我们中间。求弥赐恩典,使我们在世之时,能脱去暗昧的行为,穿上光明的盔甲。That in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. 如此到了末日,即圣子大有荣耀威严在临。审判活人死人的时候, Through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 圣子和圣父, 圣灵, 唯一上帝一同永生, 一同掌权, Amen. Amen. Let's confess our sins with confession prayer. 让我们一起用认罪文祷告承认我们的罪. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our labors as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us, strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. Peace. Let us pray. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm chapter 136, verse 1. Thank God that we were able to worship, care and pray together in the church last Sunday. 我们感谢上帝让我们在上星期日可以再次在教会中一起敬拜,彼此关心和带导。We thank God for allowing our annual general meeting to focus on glorifying Him. We lift our church in God's hand through prayer, and our elected leaders are determined to lead the members to go for God in all areas of life. 我们感谢上帝。让我们的教会年议会专注于荣耀它。大家透过一起祈告，把教会交托在上帝的手中，并且我们选出的领袖决心带领会友一起在生活的各个领域为神上路。There is a new variant of coronavirus Omicron in South Africa, and it has arrived in Australia. God, we pray that you lead us through the darkest valley. And we will fear no danger and panic because we believe that your rod and staff will comfort us. We pray that you protect us to stay vigilant and careful in preventing the spread of the virus. Pray that our government is able to implement a better hotel quarantine system that can safeguard the virus coming into the community through future return travelers. 
Pray that these hotels are able to have well-trained staff and security staff that are vigilantly monitored by infection control and safety experts. We Pray for those who have lost their loved ones to COVID. Pray that they will be comforted by supportive family and friends. We Pray specially for those who have been hit by COVID and still suffering the lingering effects of the illness. Pray for God's healing and that their every need be met. Pray that our government be given wisdom in implementing plans that are effective in reviving our economy. We pray for the people who protest in the CBD every Saturday. Group infections may occur among them. 19 people have already been infected. May God let the protesters understand the heavy workload of our medical staff and epidemic prevention personnel. Also, may God let them know that they will increase the chance of catching the virus and spreading it to their families. May the Lord have mercy on us as we are weak. Forgive our ignorance and selfishness. May the Lord protect our lives. We Pray for those Amen. Let's stand and proclaim our faith with the I believe in the Holy Spirit. 無要牧養在你們中間上帝的羣羊你們年幼的要順服年長的就是你們眾人亦都要以謙卑促腰彼此順服因為上帝阻擋驕傲的人賜恩給謙卑的人所以你們要謙卑服在上帝大能的手下
，到咗时候，佢必定叫你哋升高。你哋要将一切嘅忧虑卸除俾上帝，因为佢顾念你哋，务要紧守、警醒，因为你哋嘅仇敌魔鬼，如同哮叫嘅狮子，遍地游行，寻找可以吞食嘅人。你哋要用坚固嘅信心抵挡佢。因为知道你哋喺世上嘅众弟兄，亦系经历咁样嘅苦难。嗰位赐诸般恩典嘅上帝，曾经喺基督里面呼召你哋，得享佢永远嘅荣耀。等你哋暂受苦难之后，一定要亲自成全你哋，坚固你哋，赐力量俾你哋，愿全能归俾佢，直到永永远远。阿门。我简略咁写咗呢封信，托我所看为忠心嘅兄弟西拉转交俾你哋，劝勉你哋，又证明呢个恩典系上帝嘅真正恩典。你哋务要喺呢个恩典上站立得住，喺巴比伦与你哋同盟拣选嘅教会向你哋问安，我儿子马可亦向你哋问安，你哋要用爱心彼此亲嘴问安。愿平安归于你哋所有喺基督里面嘅人。Last week, our church had our AGM, where new church members and leaders were appointed and elected to serve us in the next t w months. 上个星期，我们教会举行了年一会，我们选举并任命了新的教会领袖。在接下来的十二个月里，他们将在我们中间侍奉。As they begin their ministry, let me ask the question: What would make s m e t h i a s a healthy church? 在他们开始他们的事工时，让我来问一个问题：什么？会使圣马提亚堂成为一个健康的教会。According to the Apostle Peter, it is God's lay church leaders and supportive church members. 按照使徒彼得的说法，是敬天敬虔的教会领袖和支持的教会成员。For a church to be healthy, both these groups of Christians. Need to possess worthy motives, correct attitudes, and godly behavior. 作为一个教健康的教会，这两个基督徒群体需要拥有并展示有价值的动机、正确的态度和敬虔的行为。First Peter five one to ten contains specific instructions on how to promote harmonious and respectful relationships between. Church leaders and church members. 彼得前书五章一至十节包含了如何促进教会领袖和教会成员之间和谐和尊重关系的具体说明。Peter has written for us a prescription for a healthy church. 彼得给我们写了一个健康教会的处方。His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of people: first to church leaders, then to church members, and finally to all Christians. His directives were given to three groups of He shared with us his insights on the function, attitude, and reward of church leaders. He and we share his insights on the function, attitude, and reward of church leaders. First, the function of church leaders. First, the function of church leaders. Peter wrote to the elders, "Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care." Serving as overseers, Peter 写道：“我这做长老的，务要牧养在你们中间上帝的群羊，按照上帝旨意照管他们。”
In the Old Testament, God was called the Shepherd of Israel. 在旧约，上帝被称为以色列的牧者。In the New Testament, Jesus was called the Great Shepherd or the Good Shepherd. 在新约，耶稣被称为是大牧人和好牧人。Peter called Jesus the Chief Shepherd. 彼得称耶稣为牧长。Church leaders are to tend the flock that God has entrusted to them. As the under shepherd of Jesus, 教会的领袖要照料上帝托付给他们作为牧长耶稣下的牧羊人。For church leaders, there are four biblical principles of shepherding. 作为教会领袖，呃，关于牧羊有四个圣经的原则。First, getting to know their church members. And letting their church members to know them. 第一就是要了解他们教会的成员，也要也要让教会成员来了解他们。For Jesus said, "I know my sheep, and my sheep know me." 因为耶稣说，我认识我的羊，我的羊也认识我。Church leaders cannot give adequate pastoral care for the church members if they do not know them. 教会领袖无法给他们不了解的会众足够的教牧关怀。Second, going before their church members and leading them. 第二，要走在教会成员之前，要带领他们。What Jesus said, He leads them out. He goes ahead of them, and His sheep follow Him. 因为耶稣说，把羊群领出来，就在他们前头走。Shepherds do not stand behind the sheep, driving them forward. They go ahead of the sheep, leading the way. 牧羊人不是站在羊群后面驱赶他们向前，他们走在羊群的前面领路。Third, exercising oversight of the church members. 第三，对教会成员进行监督。Because church members are God's flock. They belong to God. Because church members are God's flock, they belong to God. They must one day give account to the master. Church leaders are not the masters. They must one day give account to the master. Oversight does not mean overlord. Oversight does not mean overlord. Exercising oversight of a church leader means to accept responsibility, to watch over, to give attention, and to take care of church members who are entrusted to them for a season. Church leaders exercising oversight means to accept responsibility, to watch over, to give attention, and to take care of church members who are entrusted to them for a season. Fourth, making personal sacrifices for their church members. 第四，为他们的教会成员做出牺牲。Shepherding involves not only personal inconvenience of putting the sheep before the shepherd's own comfort, but it also includes hardship and danger, and requires great sacrifice and effort. 教牧不仅包括把群羊放在自己的舒适之前的个人不便，还包括了艰难险阻。需要付出巨大的牺牲和努力。The supreme example is Jesus, who laid down his own life for his sheep. For Jesus said, "The good sheep shepherd lay down his life for his sheep." 耶稣就是至高无上的榜样，他为自己的羊舍命，好牧人为羊舍命。Second, the attitude of a church leader. 第二，教会领袖的态度。The key to exercising proper function is to have the right attitude. Therefore, Peter now addressed the attitude required of a church leader. 行使恰当职能的关键就是有正确的态度。于是，彼得接下来谈到了教会领袖所需要的态度。We know that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely, and this is so even for Christians. 我们知道权力导致腐败
，绝对的权力导致绝对的腐败，即便对于基督徒来说都是一样的。Peter clarified how church leaders should exercise authority by compiling a checklist in contrasting pairs of improper and proper motivations, with three examples of what shepherding ought to be involving and what not to involve. 彼得编制了一个清单，还阐述教会领袖应该如何行使权柄，对比了正当和不正当的动机，举例说明了牧养中应该涉及和不应该涉及的三个例子。First, Peter wrote, "Not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be." 第一，彼得写道，按照上帝旨意管照管照他们。照管他们，不是出于勉强，乃是出于甘心。Christian leadership should not be under compulsion, be based on necessity, pressure, or constraint, or be done reluctantly. 基督徒的领导不是出于强迫，不是基于需要、压力或约束，或是不情愿的完成。Rather, we are to be willing and enthusiastic to serve because of our love of Christ and for His people. 相反，因为我们对基督和他的子民的爱，我们应该愿意并热情的服务。We are to be motivated by our desire to do God's will in response to a sense of God's calling. 我们是被渴望遵循上帝的旨意。回应上帝的呼召而感动的。We would then be able to serve out of delight and not out of duty, and to serve gladly and not grudgingly. 这样我们就可以出于喜悦，不是出于职责，乐于服务，而不是勉强服务。Are we motivated to serve because we have to, or because we want to? 我们有动力。去服务是因为我们必须要这样做，还是我们想要这样做 ？Second, Peter wrote, "Not greedy for money, but eager to serve." 第二，彼得写道，不是因为贪财，乃是出于乐意。Christian leadership should not be exercised with thought and calculation for personal profit, for the love of money, and for dishonest financial gain. 基督徒领袖不应该为了个人利益计算和思考，为了贪财，或是为了不诚实的经济利益。Rather, we are to be ready to serve and to sacrificially give of ourselves. 相反，我们要愿意侍奉和牺牲的付出自己。In other words, we should be eager for service, not eager for money. 换句话说，我们必须要热心的侍奉，不是热心的赚钱。It is proper for pastors to be properly remunerated, for the Bible tells us the worker deserves his wages, but their motives for ministry must not be for financial profit. 牧者受薪是合宜的，工人得工价是应当的，然而他们施工的动机不应该是经济利益。So, are we motivated to serve because of self-gain or because of our enthusiasm for ministry? We are motivated to serve because of self-gain or because of our enthusiasm for ministry? 乃是做群羊的榜样。Christian leadership should not be exercised with thought and calculation for authoritative dominion, driven by addictive power and an attitude of superiority. 基督徒领袖不应该为了权力统治进行思考和计算，被权力成瘾和优越感所驱使。Jesus charged us to feed my sheep. Not to feed on them, to use our authority to abuse and exploit the sheep. Jesus 嘱咐我们，你喂养我的羊，不是以他们为食。意思是利用我的权力虐待剥削群羊。
Jesus warned against this kind of leadership. He said, you know that the leaders of the Gentiles lord it over them, not so with you. Instead, whatever, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Church leadership is more of a responsibility than a privilege, and we must not abuse this sacred trust that we have received from God. We are to lead by example and not lead by lording. The lives of church leaders should be a shining example for church leaders to emulate. Peter is echoing Jesus' words, I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus Christ is an example for the Apostle Peter. Peter is an example for church leaders and church leaders are the example for their church members. Are we motivated to serve because of our desire for power and status or because of the godly impact our lives can make on others? Third, the reward for a church leader. With responsibility comes the reward. Church leaders will receive a reward far beyond the value of any earthly remuneration. Their motivation must never be for people's praises. They are to be motivated only by the desire to hear God say on that great day, Well done, good and faithful servant. Peter told us that those who are proven trustworthy and faithful will be rewarded by Jesus. He said, When the great shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. Unlike earthly rewards that will fade away, the crown of glory will last forever. Next, Peter addressed young men, meaning church members. Peter wrote, Young men, submit yourself to your elders. Peter singled out this group probably because young men are more prone to resent authority and are more impatient and idealistic. But this instruction is to be applied not only to young men but to all church members. 
，但这个指令不是单单对年轻人的，而是对全体教会成员的。We all need to listen to the wisdom of our church leaders, to accept their authority, and to respect their opinions and advice. We all should listen to the wisdom of our church leaders, to accept their authority, and to respect their opinions and advice. We all should listen to the wisdom of our church leaders, to accept Of church members to submit to any church leader who lives an exemplary and a godly life. 教会成员能顺服任何过敬虔生活、以以身作则的领袖是一种快乐。There is a place for expressing disagreement and voicing concerns when the church leader is violating scripture with questionable behavior and false teaching. 当教会领袖的行为或错误的教导违背圣经的时候，是可以有表达不同意见或表达关切的地方。But normally, church members can be confident in cooperating with and submitting to church leaders who live according to God's will. 但在通常情况下，教会成员可以充满信心的。按照上帝旨意生活的教会领袖合作并顺服他们。What the Bible says: Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority, because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. 因为圣经说，你们要依从那些引导你们的，且要顺服，因他们为你们的灵魂时刻警醒，好像那将要。Finally, Peter addressed all of you, meaning all Christians. 最后，彼得对所有人讲话，意思是所有基督徒。First, Peter called all Christians, both church leaders and church members, to be humble. 第一，彼得号召所有基督徒、教会领袖和教会成员要谦卑。We are to be humble towards one another. For Peter wrote, "All of you, clothe yourself with humility towards one another." We must be humble towards one another. You, the church, must also be humble towards one another. Peter was recalling the Christ-like character of humble service in John 13, when Jesus clothed himself with a towel as a servant. To wash his disciples' feet. Peter 回想耶稣在约翰福音十三章中基督化的谦卑服饰，当耶稣自己用毛巾束腰为门徒洗脚。At the beginning of each day, we are to clothe ourselves with an attitude of humility, like putting on a garment. 在每日开始之际，我们都要穿上谦卑态度的外衣来打扮自己。But we are also going to be humble towards God, for Peter wrote, "Humble yourself under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time." 我们也要向也要向上帝谦卑，因为彼得写道：“你们要自卑，伏在上帝大能的手下。”到了时候，他必叫你们升高。All our abilities are a gift from God, and it is impossible to serve God relying on our own human wisdom and strength without God's enabling. 我们所有的能力都是来自上帝的礼物，没有上帝的能力。单靠人的智慧和力量是不可能侍奉上帝的。Therefore, there is no real reason for arrogance. 所以，实在是没有任何理由可以傲慢。In humble dependence on God, we put our trust in Him that He is able to lift us up, no matter how difficult the circumstances. 因为谦卑的依靠上帝，信赖上帝，无论环境多么艰难。It is impossible to save a drowning man who, through the pride of self-sufficiency, continues to fight to save himself. 没有可能救一个溺水了还靠着自己自足的骄傲继续挣扎救自己的人
he has to stop struggling and totally trust the rescuer to get him to safety. As we humbly and sincerely come to God with our worries, we have the assurance and comfort that God loves us and cares for us. For the Bible says, cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Peter reminded us, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Peter reminded us, God when we humble ourselves before God and before one another, God gives us the grace to enjoy a harmonious relationship within God's family, the church. Second, Peter called all Christians to be vigilant. He wrote, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. We must not be complacent, but be always watchful. For Satan is constantly seeking to take advantage of any weaknesses among Christians, getting us sidetracked from doing God's will that will enable us to be faithful and fruitful. Our response to his attack is not to panic or to take flight, but to resist him standing firm in the faith. We do not rely on our own strength, but on God's power to give us the victory. Remember what the Lord says to Paul, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Peter has reassured us that the God of all grace will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. In conclusion, Peter has given us three commands. First, church leaders are not to serve out of compulsion for financial gain or for power. Instead, we are to be willing and eager to serve and be a Christ-like example for church members to follow. Second, church members are to respond to our church leaders, not with defiance and rebellion, but with joyful submission. Third, 
all Christians are not to be self-sufficient, self-serving, or self-seeking. 第三，所有的基督徒都不要自我满足、自私自利和自我寻求。Instead, we are to be humble in our relationship with one another and with God, and to be vigilant in resisting Satan's schemes, trusting in God to deliver us from trying circumstances. 相反。我们要在彼此之间以及和上帝的关系中保持谦卑，警惕地抵挡撒旦的诡计，相信上帝会在我们受试炼的环境中拯救我们。Godly church leaders and supportive church members are the keys for a healthy church. 敬虔的教会领袖和支持的教会成员是健康教会的关键。In a healthy church, we are blessed with order, unity, and harmony. In a healthy church, we are blessed with order, unity, and harmony. We thank God that the Apostle Peter has given us a prescription for a healthy church. We thank God that the Apostle Peter has given us a prescription for a healthy church. We thank God that the Apostle Peter has given us a prescription Please be seated. 请坐 A warm welcome to all those who come came to church today for our in-person Sunday service. 非常热情的欢迎你们每一位来到教堂参加这个亲自的呃主日崇拜 A warm welcome to also those who are joining our service online. 我们也欢迎那些在线来参加我们在线的崇拜。For those of you who are here today in person, you would have received an early Christmas present from the church. 今天，今天来到教会的每一位人，你们收到了一个提前送给你们的圣诞礼物。A collection of some sermons from the past year. 就是我们过去一年中有一些讲到的，呃，奖章。Well, for those who are watching us online, you must come to church next week in person to receive the present. 对于那些在线参加崇拜的人，下个星期你们要来亲自来，这样你们也能收到这样的圣诞礼物。But you need to be double vaccinated. 但是你一定要打了双剂的疫苗。So if you have not done so already, go vaccinated today. 如果你们还没有打疫苗的话，今天就要去打针。Now let us enjoy the notices. 让我们大家来欣赏呃今天的一些通告。Thank you for the ongoing support your church has been giving to CMS. Your partnership is greatly appreciated. It's sending the gospel word throughout God's world. Our CMS member care team is working hard to support the mental and spiritual health of our cross-cultural gospel workers, but they can't do it without your help. Will you give the gift of member care this Christmas? Will you help us reach our goal of? Raising fifty thousand dollars by Christmas Day, give a gift of Christmas care today at cmschristmas.org. Thank you. The peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of the Son Jesus Christ our Lord. 要让全能上帝、圣父、圣子、圣灵的父加在你们中间，永远与你们同在。阿门。Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. 让大家同声说。Amen.